We're here today to think about the carbon cycle and how carbon is stored in sedimentary rocks. Uh, we're here in South East Cambridgeshire in the Cherry Hinton chalk pits which were used to be used um, for material, building material for the Cambridge colleges and also to make lime which was then used in the cement industry. So we're thinking about how is it that carbon is stored in these rocks, what is the mechanism by which that happens. So like all sedimentary rocks, or most sedimentary rocks, chalk has been laid down in layers. It's been laid down under the ocean, and the most surprising thing about it is, not that it's white, but that it's made up of billions and billions of very, very tiny skeletons. How did that happen, you may ask? How did the skeletons form, and where did they come from? Well, the answer is, it starts in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere dissolves in the upper layers of the ocean, and then there are um, many, many billions of plankton which are floating in the upper layers of the ocean. They have skeletons and those skeletons are formed from calcium carbonate which comes from the ocean water. So the carbonate ions which are found in the ocean waters are then incorporated into the skeletons and you can see that uh, chalk are formed of the skeletons of coccolithophores. These skeletons look like tiny little hubcaps and they're only five to seven microns across uh, and as I said accumulate very very slowly um, in, in warm seas but over millions of years, over millennia, they accumulate vast accumulations like the one behind me and therefore they lock carbon uh, from the ocean into the rock store and it's stored there um, in the slow carbon uh, cycle. So there are many sedimentary rocks which store carbon, chalk is not the only one, also shale, also coal and other kinds of limestones. But chalk and the process which forms it have been found by scientists to be incredibly significant. You'll know that currently the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is around 420 parts per million. But scientists estimate it would have been 500 to 600 parts per million if it wasn't for phytoplankton. So the phytoplankton are still working on Earth today in the upper layers of the ocean, taking the carbonate ions from the seawater into their skeletons. From their skeletons, they have relatively short life. When they die, they settle out on the seabed and they form part of the slow carbon cycle.